This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Oh, oh. We have been led to believe the Earth is a perfectly round blue sphere with water sticking to it, spinning at a thousand miles per hour in orbit around the sun traveling 67,000 miles per hour, with our entire solar system traveling at 500,000 miles per hour around the galaxy, and the entire galaxy hurtling through space, resulting from the ever-expanding Big Bang-created universe. The opposite truth is, better make sure you're sitting down. Shockingly, the Earth is flat and stationary potentially covered by a solid dome firmament, as described in the Bible. Our flat Earth appears to be surrounded by an ice wall, estimated at 200 feet plus in height, encircling the entire flat Earth plane. I've recently and proudly been able to self-diagnose one of my mental illnesses, and I'm happy to report with self-therapy I'm on my way to a full recovery. Flat versus spherical Earth. I believe, is a form of widespread global mental illness, contributing to declines in everyone's overall health. As an ordinary, critical-thinking human being, I have come to the conclusion that this mental illness should be identified as Round Earth Taut Anal Retention Disorder Syndrome, or simply RETARDS, as determined by evidence that retarded my own eyes, preventing me from seeing the plain truth on the horizon victimized by indoctrination experiences that all student inmates have been subjected to. If you feel the urge to dismiss what I've suggested about Earth, please keep in mind that it may be you believing you're so educated, that it is you claiming to know everything, relying solely upon what the system that controls us told us. Most, if not all, may not believe that this could ever happen to anyone, let alone that it unknowingly happened to them. But it surely did. It happened to all of us. You may be shaking your head, thinking that I must have lost my mind. The opposite truth is, I've recently recovered my mind, after unknowingly suffering for decades from full-blown retards, after putting trust back into my own senses and remaining critical thinking skills. Symptoms of full-blown retards may include dumbed-down, indoctrinated consumer debt slave, brainwashed, defending the very system of lies embedded in their minds since near birth that enslaves them. Programmed to blindly trust all facts reported from a presumed trusted source as unquestionable truth. Conditioned to ignore new information suggested by anyone that goes against their programming, even to go so far as ridiculing and ostracizing them. So comfortable and trusting of the system, they are unable to see any reason to seek out the truth about Earth. The bottom line? The retards in recovery is recovering from believing in fairy tales, much akin to a child in denial after finding out their parents were lying about Santa Claus. These early and formative years are crucial stages in understanding just how the world works, but now the child is forced to face the reality that their trusted parents lied to them. It's very traumatic, and not easy at any age when needing to reconsider a once believed undeniable foundational fact. I recall being in the first and second grades, witnessing children arguing about Santa Claus being real. The children who knew the truth would most always fail to convince others how they were being lied to. The children remaining unconvinced, dependent upon their parents for truth, with unwavering parental trust, would defend their parents and would no way believe those explaining to them their discovery that Santa was fake. Most children, I suspect, when first realizing the truth, were resistant to accepting that they were being lied to by their trusted parents, thinking, why would they lie? You may even recall similar childhood experiences in regards to Santa deceptions. Sadly, the vast majority continuing to suffer from full-blown retards are programmed so completely that they will refuse to even consider attempting to prove to themselves that Earth is truly a round spinning ball, remaining in disbelief as to why schools and media would ever lie to everyone about Earth. Well, for some of the same reasons your parents did regarding Santa, as a means of behavioral mind control, including other irrational motives, with a lie being a lie, no matter what the motive, or how good intentioned. It's not your fault, as we've all been subjected to many widespread successful psyops in history. Mine's not working. Just tilt the marshmallow, Charlie. It's still not working. No, 
Charlie tilt at 23.5 degrees. Oh yeah. There you go. Warning. Ball Earth Logic. Ball Earth Logic is highly contagious. If you encounter Ball Earth Logic, immediately research Flat Earth.